Good morning, folders and YouTube. <laughs> Weather Network says it's supposed to be minus 20 degrees C. Feels like minus 28. But we've only got a temperature of minus 13.0. Minus 13.1. <laughs> minus 13.1 Celsius. And my starting mileage is 67,036.2. 67036.2 I'm pretty bummed I was really hoping it was going to be minus 20 today Weather Network, you liars And off we go There we go Whoa, I don't want to get caught in that one rat <laughs> Well anyways, a mess An absolute mess I was talking to the neighbor that got assaulted last night and he said he's putting a blade on his tractor and he's going to plow the lane with his tractor so we'll see how much of a fucking mess that makes. That should make a hell of a mess. <laughs> uh, well, the PVC is winding right down. Looks like it's gonna come down to the wire with G9 and SCRC 401 First Officer. Uh, that's kind of cool, a little bit of excitement in the PVC. I wish I was a little closer. That gives them a bit of a run. Yeah. Uh, I was pretty disappointed when the weather network said minus 20 when I come outside. I was happy when I saw it, but I come outside and I'm like, it's not minus 20. And I went over and sure enough, nah, minus, I think it was minus 13.5 when I checked the first time. That's ridiculous. Get me all pumped up like that. Ah, well. I don't think I really ever explained about my tire. I think it ended up getting edited out of most of my vids. I've explained it a couple times, but not very well. So we'll try again. <laughs> uh, so what happened with the tire, I'm pretty sure the first or second time it went flat and I rode home a little bit on it. It ripped the sidewall a little bit. Now the, very, the, the last couple times I changed it, I noticed the sidewall had a small rip in it. But I'm thinking that rip was pinching the tube. It was when it started to heat up, the air pressure would go up in the tire, and and when I was quartering, it was biting at the tube. Um, so when I took it off last time, it had a, it's got an abrasion about the size of half a dime. And the tire separated the two-ply. It appears to only be a two-ply sidewall. And the inside was separated away from, with the rip in it. And that's right where the rip in the tube was. So, I'm not going to buy a new tire because <laughs> I'm going to buy a new tire, I'm going to buy a new tire for the street for the summer. Um, PVC is almost over. All I need to do is get the working back. So I got a couple radial patches and uh, radial tire patches. I'm going to put a small one on the abrasion and then put a big one over the whole thing. I made a video but it turned out like shit so... Um, Yeah, so I just patched the inside of the tire. I tried to do a fairly thorough job. So we'll see. That's why I was kind of sketched out on that 100k ride. I kind of stuck close to home. 
something, but, you know, you get 100 k on, you can't just ride around town. I went out to the 401, and I went out to the other highway, Highway 6. And it held up. But I don't know how long it's going to hold up for, putting on big K. Back and forth to work. Shit, my tire doesn't even warm up by the time I'm at work, I don't think. Not very much, anyway. Alright, and the model is 67,000, 41.4. 67,000, and 41.